guess it's time to introduce myself. The original idea comes from a little short film called Pigeon Impossible. And it was really about a spy having his lunch break ruined by a pigeon. And from there we thought, well, what would be more annoying for a spy than having his lunch break ruined is if the spy became a pigeon. Subject appears disoriented. To really explore the idea of, in a world of espionage where no one can trust anyone, coming up with a hero that had to learn to trust in others. You better unbird me right now. Technically, you kind of birded yourself. When we were starting on this project, we knew we had to come up with an action hero that can stand up against James Bond and Ethan Hunt and Jason Bourne. And we looked inside to who are our heroes growing up. Then it was Will Smith. Let the beat drop. They say, they say don't meet your heroes, but you know, luckily Will <laughs> blows that away. He was amazing the whole time. How did you come to the project? I was actually auditioning for a different animated <laughs> film, and they said, oh, you know what? There's this great film that, you know, that's just still a germination of an idea. Would you read it for? I peed in the pool. I love that he has like, two sides of his personality, right? At first, you, you could play him as the villain. He's like, he's rough, dark, and he's mean. And then all of a sudden, you see him as a teddy bear. At his core, he's like gushy, literally on the inside and outside. So I love being able to play with that duality and the comedic moments behind that. Do you record with other folks or do you record by yourself? I was recording by myself. So uh, I have not met Tom yet or Will. So uh, I look forward to seeing them at the premiere later on. <laughs> And Tom, so much energy with a voice that doesn't sound anything like Peter Parker. Can you talk a little bit about that? It was really important um, in a character like Walter, who is a science you know, geek and a little bit nerdy, and this, this gadget guy to not cross paths with, with his other roles. You're the Spider-Man. I'm not. I'm not. You were on the ceiling. No, I wasn't. Ned, what are you doing in my room? And it was really great to work with him to find a character in Walter who is super smart, but also a little bit you know, goofy and, and, and silly. <laughs> But never make him feel stupid, right? He always has to feel sincere. And that's what Tom really brings to the table, is, is just this level of sincerity in the character that is so engaging. And really, I think, will let audiences connect to this journey of Team Weird. I believe in you. Hey, this boy, don't you throw me off this rope!